got so much they gotta know. <clears throat> this whole tape, I'm giving them something crazy. They voted me for young The people just voted me for young and goaded. If we say I ain't goaded, then that nigga trolling. I don't love for these niggas. It's your boy, No Life Blue, man. Coming to y'all with another video. Like, I'm buying that new build. So, like, this my small forge. Y'all know I like to make small forge too. But, like, I'm showing y'all how to get y'all shooting badges. Like, you know, I do bass tutorials every year, but I'm already done with my first build. So, like, when I first started my career, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't go to college. But you can go to college to get your shooting badges, like, faster. I'm finna get y'all 10 tips, but that's the extra tip. Like, you can go to college and select the shooting. The college that got shooting, you get your badges faster. But I went straight to the G League to go to the NBA. Because tip number one is play 12 minute quarters. I like to play 12 minute quarters. Like, as soon as I got to the NBA, putting on 12 minute quarters, like off top. That way, like, I get more opportunities to shoot the ball more. You feel me? And get open. And, like, when you first started playing, and like your overall not that high, like have it on pro. Like don't really put on Hall of Fame unless you really making videos for YouTube. And like have a whole my career series because like why are you trying to battle computers? You trying to get your player better so you can hurry up. And like you could be playing online so you can beat people. So tip number two, when grinding your shooting badges, try to get Sniper Hall of Fame first because this helps a lot with shooting because it boosts your slightly late and uh, slightly early. Tip number three, use any way you know to get open. I like to call for screens if I can't ISO, cause my build can ISO, but like he don't have all the playmaking badges, so sometimes I can't ISO because defense is like a lot better this year. But you feel me? He, he is still ISO sometimes, but like I call the screen and shoot over the screen sometimes, but if that don't work, you can also pass the ball around until you get open. You feel me? Like, you can call off-ball screens, too. Tip number four. Make sure you have a good jump shot, because if you don't have a good jump shot with the Hall of Fame sniper bag, you're going to have a penalty to your very early and very late, but it boosts your slightly late and very early. So if your jump shot good, like, most of your jump shots going to go in. And I'm gonna release this jump shot soon because I got it on both of my builds. But let's get into the next tip. Tip number five. If your build could dribble, make sure you get rhythm shooter for your playmaking badges because when you cook up, like you gonna be able to shoot better because that badge up with like shooting off of your dribble. I mean like I mean not off your dribble, like after you dribble and shit, like cooking up. Tip number six, make sure you get space creator because when you dribbling up like past the three and shit, like you can step back and like sometimes the defender like bite and you feel me? Like he be freezing up and shit. You can shoot right over him. You feel me? Like simple. Tip number seven, play the Chris Barkley workouts and like only shoot threes because like it's a boost to your badges when you playing in here. So, like, when you first start your my career, you're going to have, like, a few chances. Like, you're going to have, like, four or five chances to play in here because, like, you got to get these perks. But, like, yeah, you get your badges. Like, you can get your shooting badges way faster by shooting in here. Tip number eight. When you play my career, like, bro, don't be trying to play, like, the try-hard teams at the top of the conference. Don't play the Lakers and you got drafted to, like, bro, Phoenix or something. And think like you gonna bro, you gonna kill them. And you're overall like an 82. You feel me? I got drafted to Charlotte, so I'm not gonna be playing top tier teams right now. Because like the team chemistry not up. So like you feel me? I'm playing teams like they really got me holding centers. Cause like my build is small forward. I mean, he a power forward, but like he got my small forward height for 2K20. So you feel me? They got me holding centers. Like, it's kind of, I don't know. He, he like a demigod. He glitchy. But tip number nine, use the juke, the juice perk when playing micro so you can uh, have your takeover longer. You feel me? I got box out takeover and I think spot up precise for when I'm shooting. So that's going to boost like when I time it right. 
And tip number 10, the last tip, try not to miss a lot of shots because the more shots that you make, like when you scoring like 80 points and like you really don't miss that many shots, like say you only miss like four or five, you're going to get more badge points and more attribute points. But if you miss more shots, like it goes down, you feel me? And try to make sure like you get your team chemistry up faster so you can get team takeover because that's going to uh, how you have takeover faster too. But these are my tips for getting your shooting bags faster. I'm gonna look a couple more clips play so I can get the rhythm on like what I was doing to get my shooting badges faster. And I'm coming with more videos, man, how to get playmaking, finishing, and defense. I gotta grind all that on this build, and I'm trying to hurry up and do it before season two starts. I already told you I was level 40, so you feel me? I got more videos coming for y'all with my point guard build because you know I already got a lot of clips with him. I got mixtape videos coming soon. But it's your boy no like blue. Like share and subscribe and emote.